Colton! Colton, 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 Colton! I think I got a tooth! Yeah, I think I got a Mastodon tooth! This is pretty insane. I gotta get this camera rolling. It might be big. I don't know if there's any other teeth, but it's definitely gonna be some fanning over here for me in a second. But you should check out this thing, how I found it. Alright, I'm looking for You guys ready? Here we go. Huge. There's gotta be more teeth in here. So. Yeah, I'll just spend at least a few minutes standing, but that's that's crazy. We're gonna let's get it, and then we'll get the camera. We have been doing some pretty remote hunts lately. This will be my third hunt with Colton. Where is he? There he is. We've been exploring for Ice Age fossils mainly. On our first hunt together, Colton did find a really nice tip to a mastodon tusk. It was just laying out perfectly. That's awesome. Wow. Not quite a foot, but still. It wouldn't have been much bigger because it's already hollow here, so that's from a, a tiny mastodon. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. You got the most important part yeah, too. It's most of the, the tusk it would have had. But that was the only thing we found. And so we're trying to get further out into the middle of nowhere. And we've got maybe a couple more miles to hike before we get to our first spot today, but we won't take you all through that. Instead, you guys can enjoy some of the beautiful scenery that we might chance upon. And once we get back to the river, we'll show you what's out here. think those are human? You think those are bear? Well, those are not. That. That looks like a boot print right there. That is not human. That. Okay, we're at the river finally, and take a look at this. That looks like a footprint. And I'm gonna see if I can. Those are claws. Look at how big this thing is. It goes all the way back here. That's bigger than my hand. And those are definitely little toes right there. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. There might be something really nice. We're already walking on gravel. Let me just pick it up. Ah, yeah, that's what we're looking for. There might be a tooth in there. At least something. You gotta check it. Well, Colton just found the first decent fossil today. There he goes back underwater. That is a giant armadillo osteoderm. Osteoderm means bony skin in Latin. And this would have been a part of hundreds of little protective armored plates on these giant armadillos. They were huge, way bigger than the modern ones. And that is a very cool fossil and a good sign that in there, where Colton is now, there might be more. And in some bend today, I don't doubt that we're going to find something that's going to make this ship worthy because it's a lot of work coming out here to find this stuff. That first spot was all right, but... Not a lot of big bone, which is what we're after. So we're gonna keep hiking through this mess. And we've got a full day ahead of us. So either we're gonna find something crazy or I'm gonna use Colton as gator bait. We'll find out. You guys see this sketch whack pond over here? We're hiking, we notice that is a slide leading from the sketch whack pond up here where Colton is over there and into the river. So, there are definitely large alligators in here. We're at the second really good exposure of today. That all right in there, that is Ice Age material. We found some interesting stuff here in the past, and we might find some stuff in a second. Just gotta get underwater and find out. Although that looks like, no, that's a log. That's not a gator. <laughs> Dude, there's bigger bone. Look, that's giant tortoise. There's stuff in here. I've, I've reached some clay. There might be something cool. Yeah, it's just a tooth. Mammoth. Huh. Well, that's it from spot number two. First piece of mammoth tooth though. You got the grinding plates up here. This would have been part of a very large tooth. We'll put a complete tooth on screen 
so you guys can see what this animal's tooth would look like if complete. But this is not a bad example. We're hoping to find something better. We did also get a pretty big chunk of giant tortoise, but really not too much in there. So we'll keep moving. Today has been a lot of this so far. Just hiking and hiking, looking for Ice Age exposures. These cypress trees are cool though. But hopefully we'll get on some more stuff. We got a lot more time left in the day. Well, we're looking at maybe the fourth or fifth gator slide today. Going from that sketch walk pond over there, down this little sandy bank. You can see all the disturbed sand and then into the water right there. So there's another alligator in here somewhere. So that gator slide was over there, but we're taking a detour because this spot right here, there's gravel below us and it might have something good. So we're gonna spend 15 minutes here before we keep moving on and maybe we get lucky. That's an interesting bone. We're getting stuff. More Pleistocene bone. That's good. It's really good. These are really rare for where we're at. That's only my second Mako ever in this river that's cool well not a bad spot we've got some shark teeth we've got a horse tooth we've got a nice calcanium colton's finishing it out and then we're gonna keep moving down river so last time i was here right below me in that hole is where i ran into a gator so i'm not going back in there we're gonna skip this bend and we're gonna keep on moving through the woods i guess colton's about to get back underwater it was cold it's a little bit cold. Cold's an understatement. Go get him. Oh, oh. That's piece of Oh yeah. Now, come look at these two big pieces. That's fresh bone, dude. Well, come look at what's laying down here. Uh, I'll come take a look. Okay. the shell is with that oh. bird is. Oh you grabbed it? Yeah. <laughs> Dude that is cool. That is equal chance that could have been a big mastodon tooth right there. That's a it looks like the Atlas vert. <coughs> you got half of it though but that's that's a big well cooked yeah. bone. There you go. I wonder what else is up there. We're finally starting to find big bone again but we haven't found anything amazing yet. But we're gonna do our best to try. We're gonna hike and see if we can't find more exposures like this one we were just on. You haven't seen Colton when he's hungry. You gonna get that? I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> look at it. Look at that grapefruit. It's laughing at you. Uh, I'll take this weight belt off and I'll show you how to do it. I don't wanna land awkwardly, but I can get that grapefruit for sure. Do it, you couldn't. See that grapefruit? Basketball time. Ah! Son, son, we got dinner. We could survive out here. If you ever want to see us do a survival adventure. No, that's a dumb idea. We'll probably die. Let's find fossils. We've made it to another spot. I'm pretty sure last time I was here six years ago, this is where I found a really nice mastodon tooth cap. And I'm seeing a lot of gravel. So I'm going to check this spot out real quick. And I hope we find another one today because that would be pretty freaking cool if we did i got a piece of giant armadillo armor in like 12 inches of water Woo! that is sweet two 
two more Ice Age fossils. Look at this. Weird toe bone, and that's a giant tortoise claw. This spot might be really oh, good. that's crazy. We'll definitely have to take pictures of that stuff. Wow. So, Ice Age exposure for sure. So I just got really excited, but I think it's modern. It looks like a cow jaw. I'll grab it real quick and see if it's not. It could be camel. Please be camel, actually. Please be camel. Let me see if it passes the cling test, please. Um, that might be camel. That, I hope this is a fossil. All right, there's everything from that Ben. Giant tortoise claw, interesting toe bone, deer antler, gator tooth, taper tooth, giant armadillo armor, horse incisor, piece of mastodon animal. That's everything except for this right over here. And I thought that this might have been a camel jaw, which would have been super rare and super cool, but it's modern. And I know that because I did the good old bite test. And after biting it, you can tell it broke and it's soft, so. Unfortunately, this could have been a pretty cool fossil, but we're gonna throw it back, yoink, splat, and we're gonna go find some more stuff. Fat horse tooth. Look at that. That's a big horse tooth. It's getting later in the day, but we are still finding stuff. That is a perfect Ice Age horse tooth. Perfect chewing surface, fully rooted. Wide crown up here. I think that might be pathological. You don't see that very often, but that is an incredible Ice Age fossil from one of the horses. Horses actually evolved in North America. Most people don't know that, but it's a pretty cool fact. They went extinct at the end of the Ice Age and then got reintroduced by Europeans when they found the quote unquote new world. We have covered a lot of ground today. It's gonna get dark soon. This might be one of the last bends I get in today. So wish me luck. Hopefully we can find something before we have to get out of here. Got another Ice Age bone. Giant tortoise spur. That's cool. It's part of the foot armor. Nice little bone. Oh my gosh. There's something in there. I gotta get Colton's attention. Colton! Colton! Colton, 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 Colton! I think I got a tooth! Yeah, I think I got a mastodon tooth! I'm gonna show him this tooth on the water before we start fanning it. Then we'll record the process. But I think it's whole. It might be missing a little bit of the front. But if it's if it's whole, it's big. You wanna come check this thing out? Yeah, you should come check this thing out. It might be big. I don't know if there's any other teeth, but it's definitely going to be some fanning over here for me in a second. But you should check out this thing, how I found it. Alright, I'm going to go. You guys ready? Here we go. I think the front's a little chit, but yeah, it's huge. That is amazing. We're gonna fan this bad boy up. That's big. Why does that front hump have to be a little broken? Do you see that? I do. Ah, can I get in the camera? I'll get this thing. Yeah. Tooth's exposed. I'm gonna go grab it. It's got some damage to the front. And I hate complaining about these things because it's amazing pieces of history, but I'm gonna complain. But you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. We're gonna cover it, but it looks pretty freaking huge. <laughs> Thank you. 
Peace chip. Look at that. That is an American Astronaut ball. That is what we came out here to find. The first animal recognized as extinct. It is sweet. Just this front hump is chip, but one, two, three, four. It's legit five humper. This would have been the last tooth from a fully grown adult. One of the coolest Ice Age animals you can find and rivers like that. And I am super happy we saved it before I could get more damage. There might be more where there's one tooth. There's typically more. I could see Colton shaking. So we're going to put this on the bank. I'm going to get back in there. And if you want to help me, Colton, we'll fan these, this bad boy up. Doing a little fanning. We just got another piece of bone. I don't think it's jaw or skull, but could be vertebrae. Colton's doing dumb stuff in the background. No, it looks like a piece of the jaw. Really? Yeah, it's a piece of the jaw. So there could, that looks like a jaw tooth too. So there could be more teeth in here. Oh man, it be so much work spinning this up though. Okay, so I thought this was just a piece of rock, but it is actually more jaw in there too, so. That's this. definitely an interesting piece of jaw. You can tell that that's where the sockets were, the tooth would have sat right there. And it's definitely associated with that tooth. So there's probably more in there, but we do not have time to fan it up without getting stuck out here for a few days. I feel disgusting. Yeah, I feel pretty gross too. We have a very, very, very long hike ahead of us. And if we don't leave now, we're gonna get stuck out here in the middle of the woods without any way to get home and it's gonna be dark. So we enjoyed having all of you out here today with us on the channel. If you enjoyed today's adventure and like seeing us uncover that mastodon toss tip, and that mastodon tooth, I think you all should subscribe. We publish videos about every two weeks of our different adventures throughout Florida. Oh wow, this is pretty. It is really pretty out here sometimes. But if you subscribe, you're gonna see more cool areas along the eastern seaboard and sometimes out west. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, keep on digging science.